just going insane. Hold on. So if you haven't noticed, it's really hot here. I've got the fan on, the curtains are closed to try and like block out the sun, the windows all open, but I just still can't seem to cool down. I'm having like four cold showers a day. Anyway, that leads me on to this video, which I thought I would make regarding cold showers. Now, so a cold shower is obviously, as the name suggests, you have a shower without any warm water in. But there are actually loads of benefits to doing this. Like, I made a video about this before and it did pretty well, so I thought I'd just readdress it for my new subscribers and just tell you a bit more about it. Now, when I say cold shower, I mean you want to have completely cold water, no hot water at all. And at first, it's going to feel terrible. You're going to feel like you can't breathe, you, everything's closing up, and it's not going to feel nice at all. But if you stick with it, if you have a cold shower every day for about a month, after a couple of weeks, you'll notice that you have more energy, your blood seems to just be flowing better, and you seem to be like recovering from things faster. So before I get into the benefits of this stuff, right, let me just, this is my personal experience, okay? So I've been having cold showers for a number of years, um, but when I first started having cold showers, it was really uncomfortable, it was annoying, I didn't want to have to do it, and it felt like I was struggling through it, whereas now I sort of look forward to the cold, especially in the heat. You know, especially in this like 30 degree heat or whatever it is, I look forward to cold showers now. What happens is when you first step under the cold water, you get this like rush of adrenaline and you start feeling like you can't breathe. And that turns into you then opening up your entire airway, stretching out your airways in a way that you can breathe deeper. Um, now Elliot Hulse has made loads of videos about deep breathing, so I'm, I'm just gonna let him explain the benefits of that for you. But deep breathing is really good for you helps with a lot of different things and makes you feel and perform better. So when you have a cold shower, what it does is it forces you to breathe deeper and then that has an effect on your other things, on your health, on your, you know, how you feel and how you recover and all this sort of stuff. So that's the sort of benefit you'll feel immediately. You'll feel like you have this sudden rush of energy that maybe you didn't have before and that will last for a couple of hours afterwards as well. Then you've got the more subtle benefits, right? So you've got things like your because your blood is flowing better because your blood's flowing better you'll be able to heal from things faster if you exercise or you know if you do any weight training at the gym um, you'll find that you can recover a lot faster if you have cold showers especially if you stay under the water for about five to ten minutes instead of just a few seconds which you'll at the start you're probably going to stay under the cold water for about 20 seconds at most right because it's going to be so uncomfortable so annoying that you'll want to just jump out and get back into the warm water but if you build it up slowly to five or 10 minutes, you'll find that you really do feel good afterwards. You feel very energetic, you feel nice and refreshed, and you just feel, overall, you just feel great. There's obviously a number of benefits to this cold shower malarkey, otherwise nobody would do it. And there are actually loads of people, if you, if you do a quick search online for cold shower benefits, you'll find, among my articles and videos, you'll find loads of people just talking about how it, you feel good, you feel more, refreshed, more energetic. So what I would invite you to do, if you do want to just take the challenge and see what it feels like, just try it for 30 days, okay? Just try 30 days of having cold showers every day. I always suggest this with, with challenges, especially with, you know, things that are uncomfortable and difficult, just try it for 30 days because if you can commit to that, if you can commit to a one month of doing this, then, it, you know, either you'll have formed the habit or you'll have known that it won't, that it doesn't work. Just do that for 30 days, just try it out, see if it works, see how you feel, right? More than anything, it's important how you actually feel when you do it. And let me know in the comments what you think, how, how you think it went. Now, a couple of things I should mention about this. Firstly, you don't want to have any warm water in the shower. Now, obviously this is gonna be uncomfortable, you're not gonna to wanna to do this really. So to motivate you to do it, start by having your normal shower, however, whatever temperature you have it at, Okay, and then right at the end, switch to cold water for 30 seconds and end it on the cold water cycle because then this will close up your pores, lock in the moisture to your hair, whatever, you know, all those benefits as well. But it will also help you motivate yourself to be able to have cold showers going forward. So once you've done that, once you've done 30 seconds at the end of your showers for a couple of weeks, then move it up to doing a minute and then two minutes until you're at the point where you can have a half and half shower. You can start with warm water and then finish with cold water. Once you've done that for a bit, then you can look at moving to doing the whole shower cold, or, or what you can do is contrast showers. So you can have like warm water, then cold, then warm, then cold, which is really good for promoting blood flow and getting your internal organs and everything healthy. But you have to end on the cold cycle. That's the important part here. You need to end your showers with cold. 
So let me know how it goes, leave a comment and see you next time.